Today we're uh, pleased to have with us Robert Schulman. Uh, Bob is uh, managing partner at Cresser. Um, and uh, tell us a little bit about Cresser. Bob, welcome. Well, thank you, Mark, and thank you, Jeff. I uh, appreciate the opportunity for you to have me here. Um, Cresser is um, about 27 years old. It was founded uh, by myself and uh, three other partners. Uh, we initially met when we were uh, working at uh, Digital Equipment Corporation, uh, something that anybody under 40 years old probably doesn't even recognize as a name mm -hmm. anymore, but they were the second largest uh, computer manufacturer in the world uh, up until the um, late 80s. But um, myself, uh, Bill Goad, Jack Burns, uh, we worked in their real estate department, which um, at the time that we left had over 200 people um, and putting online millions of square feet of space a year. Uh, we got the idea of uh, an entrepreneurial idea of uh, working for ourselves as we were working for digital uh, and realizing that the commercial real estate industry lacked a key component and that was people that were advising just the tenant. And we um, put our thoughts together and began uh, what was initially called Northeast Real Estate, which morphed into Avalon Partners, which then um, morphed into today's Cressa. Uh, we're now a worldwide organization, over 50 offices in the United States and North America. So the premise of your business model is that tenants need their own representative and that there's uh, an inherent conflict if you're representing both uh, uh, owners and tenants. An excellent point. Um, we know in your business, um, in, in the legal business, that uh, probably every case that you work on, um, you have to deal with, are you conflicted? Um, and, um, and similarly, uh, if you were doing a real estate transaction, uh, you probably would not have another attorney working for the landlord and you're representing a tenant. Uh, I thought at the time and continues to be that uh, you can't get, a, you cannot get the same objective um, uh, opinions from people that are representing the owners and also the tenants in the same transaction. So what other services do you provide to clients other than uh, uh, finding suitable space, if any? Well, uh, the finding of the space is often the easiest part. Um, we, do, um, we do a tremendous amount of analysis on any particular project, as well as the documentation that's involved uh, from the requesting of the proposals to counter proposals to uh, non-legally binding letters of understanding to help uh, attorneys on both sides draft the lease or um, sales papers um, it, where the terms are outlined so uh, the, uh, the, the review uh, of the first draft should be a whole lot easier because it should encompass what's been presented within that letter. But in addition to the real estate transaction side, as we call it, we uh, also provide a number of other uh, real estate services. When it comes to real estate, is the world flat or are there a lot of differences from region to region? You know, it's, that's, that's another good question. Um, you know, 30 years ago, it was pretty flat. But um, as with most businesses, um, um, there's been tremendous consolidation um, in real estate, both on the development side, um, the ownership side, as well as on the brokerage side. Um, so while markets may vary in terms of um, s specific practices, uh, the bottom line is is that um, it's pretty round at this point. 